Nobody wins when the family feels I just know Stuff I'm showing You know that Glock I'm told You gon' be the next pack of smoke Better not catch you see the road That's the over From the way I work my show Tell your partner to pick it up that good Lock the volume on And every time I buy the drop They say nigga Dropping shells through the city And never duck the smoke Every time they speak on bleeder That's when we go up Woke up in sweat, so I hopped out the bed and I got on my knees. Asking the Lord forgiveness for all of the sins I commit. Ain't a lot of you, I know. If I love you, you can get whatever in me, I promise. Real niggas stay the same on He don't miss an IV. Catch a puppet cat. Won't don't give him a filler. Thank you. All right, to some serious news now. New details this afternoon on a deadly shooting near the Mall of Louisiana that happened in February. Baton Rouge police say that they have made an arrest in connection with this shooting, and they plan to hold a press conference later this evening to give us a few more details. Two teenagers died in that attack. Is there anything you would like to say to your family, to the victim's family? As Baton Rouge police have arrested this man, Rashawn Alexander, in connection with a deadly shooting. Baton Rouge police say he's facing charges in the death of 35-year-old Nicholas Williams. You may remember Williams was found shot to death along Aliquippa Street on the night of March 5th. Those charges he's facing should be being updated in the 9 News app as we speak. 9 News alert from the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office. We're told a shooting arrived. DeNova Street around 2 o'clock this afternoon. The sheriff's office tells us two people ran away from the scene and were later found at the hospital. Those two people died as a result of their injuries. It's unclear how these people knew each other or if there was anyone else involved in the shooting. If you know anything that can help, call Crime Stoppers at numbers 344-STOP. My bad for the long intro, family, but I'm pretty sure by the conclusion of this video, you're going to appreciate it. You see, recently, a well-known B.I. rapper was gunned down in his hometown. Now, with not much information on the situation, a lot of people on social media been coming up with their own conclusion. And many people who's the quote-unquote opposition of this rapper been on social media immediately to celebrate his demise. Say, Rico, you gonna have the pool? You. Do the damn man right now, come on. Come on. He talking buku shit, this for Wither, this for Webby. This for Webby. Man, this for Webby. This for Webby. This for Webby. Now, if you're wondering who Webby he's referring to, it's not the iconic legend coming out of BR, Webby. In fact, it's another Webby. They go by the name of Teflon Webby, who's a part of a crew named True Bleeder. Unfortunately, Teflon Webby had came to his demise. And in this video, we strictly gonna talk about the facts, including how unfortunately he lost his life based on the information from authorities. We also gonna discuss how not only this rapper, but his crew had a target on their back in the public eye for some time now. But before we get into this one, remember family, I don't give you no angle, I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we're gonna jump right to it. Now reports coming out of BI on April 19, 2023, was that two people had took the life of each other in a shootout after an argument. Now, before we discuss those details, let's get a little backstory on the artist of this video. Meet Ray Griffin, 21 years old, AKA Teflon Webby. He's a Baton Rouge artist that associated itself with the group called True Bleeders. Now, over the last two years, they group been in the limelight as they would have a public view with one of the biggest groups with the biggest artist at his association coming out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Members of the group and True Bleeder would get into a public feud with another BR rapper that go by the name of Ben 10, who is also known to the mass majority of the world as the rapper under the NBA cap. Now, Ben 10 was on live with Teflon Webby, also before he passed away. Now, before we play and discuss that video, we got to take it back some months before, where Ben 10 would also go on Clubhouse with the biggest artist in True Bleeder. And that conversation was strange to say the least. Come on, man. You the hat, nigga. Who you ever do? I ain't gonna stop talking like that, damn. Oh, man, I'm a whole ho. You can't <laughs> talk like that, man. Don't talk like that to why I'm gonna know why I'm in, though. No. Never do that. I'm so good at that already, bro. Ain't nothing but talk good. I'm saying. Not your about that one is ops before. Not y'all kicking 10. They beat them same niggas getting whooped from close. Who said not us kicking 10? Who said go with them? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm assuming that's what the group was referred to because he was the artist that go by the name True Bleeder. He was the most known artist in True Bleeder, having multiple songs that managed to get over a million views and tracks like Soul Survivor. 
Real soul survival. Get on the stand, my right hand and lie to you. And tracks like Trouble Soul, that was released just two years ago, that managed to get over 1.6 million views and count. My face won't take my place, but he ain't me up in the coast. He truly had a promising career, but shortly after he had that public feud on Clubhouse with the rapper Ben 10, he would be unfortunately gunned down in broad daylight in front of an iconic landmark in BR, which was the mall, the mall of Louisiana. He would be one of four people who would be struck by a hell of gunfire on the highway. Now even a citizen who was driving had recorded what appears to be a white sheet as she inched towards the traffic past the scene. In a clip that I can't play because it's far too gruesome for YouTube, and we do want to pay respects to the family. Now, this incident happened on February 25th, 2022. Authorities claim the rapper and his entourage was targeted after leaving the mall, leaving the whole car hit up. Two people in the front deceased, and the two people in the back. Thank God they survived. Afternoon at this hour, the shooters who opened fire on a car in the middle of busy Blue Bonnet Boulevard are still on the run, and police are asking anyone who saw something to say something. Our Perry Robinson has been at the scene talking with witnesses and police about another violent afternoon in Baton Rouge. She joins us live. Perry, what is the latest? Well, Liz, it's the same story, just a different day after yet another deadly shooting here in the city of Baton Rouge. Now, what we know so far is that BRPD has confirmed that two people were killed and two others are still in the hospital after that deadly shooting from earlier this afternoon. Now, again, what we do know is that police got a call about a shooting right here at the corner of Blue Bonnet and Bacardi. Investigators we spoke with are again calling this a targeted attack. We did have the chance to speak to someone inside a restaurant that was right next to the scene and they described hearing pounding and the server reportedly saw people duck for cover near a bar. I also spoke to a retired police officer that was near the scene when the shooting happened. He says, and I quote, Baton Rouge is out of control. Man, I have never seen it like this here before in all the years I've been on the police department and everything, man. It's just getting crazy where well, you just can't go nowhere no more unless something like this here happening and everything. I don't know what, what going to happen in Baton Rouge, you know, in the next few years or so. The individuals that were inside of this car were targeted. There are some situations that are happening in Baton Rouge of individuals having uh, issues and rival uh, groups that are, are, are are committing violence against one another. So we're asking the community to come forward with those individuals that you know that may be involved so that we can hold those responsible uh, for this shooting and place them in jail. And as you can see, Blue Bonnet is back open for traffic after it was shut down earlier this afternoon as police were canvassing the area again after that daily shooting. And again, if you have any information that can help police, please call Crime Stoppers. Liz, back to you. All right, Perry Robinson live for us tonight. Perry, thank you. The East Baton Rouge mayor also reacting to all of this in a statement saying we cannot be controlled by fear. Mayor Sharon Weston Broom is calling on you to come forward with information to help track down the people responsible. Now, as you can see by what the police captain had to say in the news clip, he feels as if though that the public feud that we even saw on Clubhouse is the reason all this went down. Now, two months later, an arrest will come. And despite what people thought, it wasn't nobody to the public eye, that is, that was connected to the NBA camp. On April 14, 2022, reports will come out of Louisiana that 21-year-old Demetri and Grimm would be arrested for the demise of True Bleeder and his associate in front of the mall, Louisiana. Now, the motive is still unclear, and as of now, he hasn't been cooperating. Is there anything you would like to say to your family, to the victim's family? You'll be sending Easter in jail. Was it worth it? When True Bleeder passed away, another artist that was connected to the group was trying to pick up the pieces and keep his name alive. His name was Hot Boy Do. He was making some noise in the city. He actually had some music under the TBG umbrella and managed to get a feature with Fredo Bang. Dropping tracks titled D.I.E. that managed to get over 300,000 views and counting just four months ago. Huh, 
Walk down, give him a fill up. Bitch, he did it on his ass, call one of his partners, bring him a. Hot Boy Do even show he can carry his own weight by releasing the song by himself under Fredo Bank YouTube titled PSU for You. This track was released seven months ago and managed to get over 250,000 views and counting. Pull up, let up six, bitch. You know what Stand I'm on it, Benny. But after facing some serious allegations, Hot Boy Do will have to put his rap career on the shelf. But on March 3rd, 2023, he would be arrested after he was the suspect, according to authorities, for an early March shooting that left one person deceased. Rashawn Alexander, aka Hot Boy Do, he was 20 years old when he was first charged with first degree murder, possession for a firearm, and carrying and conceal a weapon by a person convicted of a certain felonies, distributing and possession of marijuana, and illegal use of weapons, according to officials. According to Bad Rule Police Department, Nicholas Williams, 35 years old, was found shot to death in the Quip Street near Michigan Street on Sunday, March 5th at around 8.45 p.m. As Founders Police have arrested this man, Rashawn Alexander, in connection with a deadly shooting. Founders Police say he's facing charges in the death of 35-year-old Nicholas Williams. You may remember Williams was found shot to death along Aliquippa Street on the night of March 5th. Those charges he's facing should be being updated in the 9 News app as we speak. He's now, as you can see, the group that rep True Bleeder within the last 13 months alone have been taking some serious hits within their camp, but it seems they would get hit with another blow, which brings us to why we brought up this story today. The artist, Teflon Webby, who's also in association with True Bleeders. Now, Teflon Webby rap name was titled Web the Block, which was also his Instagram name. Now, he had some noise for himself as a music career, having a track just released six days ago that managed to get over 24,000 views and count. The way I work my show, tell your partner, pick you up, lock the volume over. Now, it seems there's been some conflicting stories, whether or not it was his opposition or not. Also, it's been speculation whether he was shooting dice or not. Now, as of now, both of those statements is just speculation. But what we do know, according to authorities, Teflon Webby got into a shootout and lost his life, and the other person who took his life lost his life as well. Meaning Teflon Webby actually took out the man who took his life. The exact quotes from the deputy with the East Bad Rule Sheriff's Office said a daytime shootout left two men deceased on Tuesday, April 18th. Both victims was later identified as Stephen Brown, 29 years old, and Ray Griffin, 21 years old, aka Teflon Webby. According to the Sheriff's Department, the shooting happened off Greenwell Street at around 2 p.m. Investigators said evidence at the scene and a witness statement indicate Brown and Griffin got into an argument that eventually led them to fire shots at each other. They added both had left the scene by the time deputies arrived, but were later found at the hospital. They both had come to their demise as a result of their injuries, according to authorities. A news alert from the East Baton Rouge Sheriff's Office. We're told a shooting arrived. Denova Street around 2 o'clock this afternoon. The sheriff's office tells us two people ran away from the scene and were later found at the hospital. Those two people died as a result of their injuries. It's unclear how these people knew each other or if there was anyone else involved in the shooting. If you know anything that can help, call Crime Stoppers at numbers 344-STOP. The only reason Ben 10 has been brought up in this whole case again was the recent live that he did after the demise of his friend True Bleeder when he got on live with Teflon Webby. Man, you know I fuck with you, bitch. You know I love you. And you know where I be at? Y'all size my the front truck. What'd you say? I, ain't going. I said, y'all size my the front truck because y'all ain't going nowhere. Oh, you see? I see the pole in the background. You know me, I be stabbing. I be outside oh, every day, Tim. You post today? You post to me. All right, all right. Hey, look Dude, though. You know that, bro. Surprise, man, don't shoot at me, though. I ain't surprised. You. you just don't, you know what I'm saying? All right, bro. I'm now, before we wrap up to the conclusion of this video, we do want to say rest in peace to all the fallen victims of this story and love and condolences to you guys, family, friends, and loved ones. Well, family, we may not know the exact facts, but what we do know is that this group and BR has been taking blow after blow. Not to mention, this might be the first time we discuss a rapper or anyone in that case who took out the life of the man who took his life. Let me know how you guys feel about this one in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.